Hello everybody, how you doing? It's time for another of my little Minecraft tutorials, and this one is sort of not a tutorial, but I'll do my best to explain, because a lot of people have been asking about how you use smithing tables. So this is a video all about how you use smithing tables, the first answer of which is you kind of can't, but I'll explain as much as I can. The first thing you need to know about a smithing table is how to make one, which you make with planks and iron ingots, that's pretty easy, we'll make one there. And then we've got one, look, here it is, a smithing table. But as you put one down, you'll put it down, and notice, oh, it doesn't do anything. And so the reason I think a lot of people have been asking about how these work is because people seem to be operating under the slight misapprehension that the smithing table is a table like a crafting table that you can use. It's actually not. Uh, it, it has no function like that. Uh, you don't use a smithing table like that, you can't put it down and smith things. The smithing table is actually, excuse me, I'm gonna need some pork chops here to get myself all the way over to the village. The smithing table is actually a village item. Uh, ever since the village and pillage update, it can actually spawn in in villages. And I really should have actually started this tutorial closer to my village. But I'll show you how the smithing table works. This is actually an item. If you go check out my previous videos on how to get different villager jobs and professions, or if you just know about that. Uh, the smithing table is basically only used for that now. So what you use the smithing table for is rather than using it yourself to smith things, uh, if you actually put one in your village, you'll get, I believe, a blacksmith. It could be a weaponsmith though, I've forgotten. I do have a video on my channel also about how each table uh, affects each type of villager. But basically, if we just pop this in here, what we should start to see is uh, this is how you use them more directly. You put them down in villages and it makes certain types of villages, villagers. This is my village here, uh, inside this wall. So as you can see, we got a village here with a couple of villages. We should have a few that are unemployed. Um, this is a little bit random. It can be a little bit slow, so I'm not necessarily going to wait and see if this works today. Uh, plus my village is not quite as inhabited as it used to be. But if you see, for example, I've got a farmer here because we have the composters and I've got, uh, a stone cutter there and uh, I've got lecterns and things for the upper villagers. If I put this down in one of these rooms you should see it start to sparkle. Maybe. Do you know what? There might not be enough villagers for that. But basically that's what it's used for. You put them down in villagers and it makes new villagers. Uh, oh hey we go. There we go. That's someone sparkling because we put a new item down and a few other things. Uh, although apparently they're sparkling because they're librarians. All right, uh, I don't have enough unemployed villagers to demonstrate that directly, I'm afraid, but that's basically how you use the smithing table. You don't use it yourself to operate things. They either spawn naturally in villages, or when this little guy grows up, he's now more likely to become a blacksmith because we put the smithing table down. So that's how that works. It's not a, it's not a direct tool you can use. You've got to put them down in the villages, basically. That's what you're looking for. Uh, I'd, I'd wait for that to happen, but it takes too long, and this is just supposed to be a quick tutorial. Uh, if you'd like more information about how villagers work uh, now, how the tables work to basically give them jobs, or which tables you need for which jobs, um, I actually have two videos on my channel about that, and I'll put a link in the video description below. But that's basically everything to do with the smithing table. You just make them and put them down in villages. They cannot be used directly by the player. And there you go, that's everything. If this was useful to you, uh, please do... Uh, leave a like or a subscribe or whatever or don't and look here's a skeleton off in the distance because that's what I've been building lately Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye